Hi, welcome to Spiritual Rebirth Tarot. I'm Madeline. Out here in this uh, beautiful setting in the uh, mountain area. So, uh, welcome, welcome. I am your all-time favorite tarot reader and energy healer. So happy to be here. Every day I bring hope and healing, light and blessings to the world and to the collective community. Um, as we go through our day, we can think of ways to uh, really bring, you know, hope and healing light uh, to those around us. I know I was listening to a talk this morning and she was talking about during this holiday season, especially find a way to make other people feel like you have noticed them, that you care about them, and there really is something special for them in their lives. So this, my dog is here with me as well. She may show herself at some point. Uh, Kubera. So I would like to start with uh, the uh, archangels, the, the guardian angels that are with us all the time. And the message is coming from the guardian angels. And then I'll go into a tarot reading for uh, today while we're up here on the mountain, the beautiful mountain energies. Okay, so let's begin by uh, putting Reiki energy into the deck. And it will help guide us to the uh, right angel card. Okay, creative writing. All right. So, um, the creative writing, you know, has to do with, um, you know, you could be writing a book, you could be writing in a journal. There's so many ways that we can be writing. And Archangel Gabriel, who really helps with um, communication, you can ask Gabriel to come into your life and whisper in your ear. You know, also your children, you're having a rough day. You know, instead of yelling at them, you know, step back, pray to Gabriel and ask Gabriel to whisper in their ear, you know, love and happiness in their lives. Make time to write down your thoughts in a journal, a pen, an article, or a book. So any variety of creative, creative ready. I know, um, I've always been like, how, what do I do? How do I journal? And I love tarot so much. So I decided that each morning when I do my tarot, I'm just going to write down the couple of cards that come out and the meanings. And then each night before I go to bed, I'm going to write three things that I'm grateful for, you know, appreciate and happy about for the day. So like today, um, you know, having a safe trip, uh, you know, being able to, uh, work on my YouTube channel, you know, those, um, more and more, um, subscriptions and donations and all the things that just make, uh, life so, so much, uh, better and easier on this journey. And, you know, ask and say, uh, things that we're really grateful for. And so you don't have to spend hours and hours and lots of time journaling, just that basic start, I think, is what we need. And so, I'm trying to look at my life, you know, like, uh, you know, maybe, uh, you know, losing 50 pounds and doing more journaling. And there are a few other things we can learn how we're talking to ourselves. Make sure we're not talking to ourselves in a negative and, um, you know, shaming type manner. So all of those things, we can say, what little thing could I do to make my life just a little better right now? Then the underneath angel is compassion. Uh, Zadkiel, Archangel Zadkiel, soften your heart with respect to this situation. So the situation that you're in right now, like I said, it may have something to do with your kids. You can see I have my kids stuff in the back of the car. Um, it may have to do with your kids. It may have to do with uh, your work situation, um, you know, love situation, someone that you love dearly, but you're struggling with, um, soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. So be kind to yourself, have compassion for yourself as well as for others. 
one of the things that I learned recently that really impressed me and I hadn't even thought of was when you come to a situation and you're feeling very defensive and you're like, ah, please don't do that. No, don't do that. You know, so you're having this defensive moment. If you both are defensive, you're going to have these big walls up and you're going to have to try to break them down and break through and you're fighting with each other. But if we instead you let down your guard, let down your walls and become vulnerable, you know, still to be, you know, have those boundaries, be gentle to yourself, but at the same time, drop the barriers and come to someone with compassion and love. So compassion, soften your heart, soften your mind, soften your words, come to that person in compassion. You know, they will be, they'll be shocked and amazed that you haven't come with this state of, of defense and they'll wonder, you know, what, what should I do? How should I rep respond so that it's not as much of a defensive attitude? Okay. So, um, let's take, you know, thank you. So thank you angels for your messages for us. We really appreciate the messages that the angels have brought to us today. And I love those archangel cards uh, because they, they just help to uh, guide and direct us on our journey. So now I'd like to put um, Reiki energy into this tarot deck. The tarot deck that I'm using today is uh, Guardians of the Night. It has a wonderful, beautiful energy because not only is, you know, every card a tarot card, but we're also looking at um, a, a spirit animal in it as well. So we're looking at the spirit animal and the tarot uh, message you know, in each card. So we're going to look at the situation of the day, the block that we are running into, and the benefit of the situation. The block to the uh, situation and the benefit. Okay, so the situation is a six of pentacles. Giving, taking, having that uh, balance. The six is kind of the rebalancing after the change. So you've had a lot of change and frustration and difficulty. And things are starting to uh, balance out. And uh, in this case, you know, she has the uh, ox here. Which actually it was interesting because I was just reading about how um, way back in the time of the Celts. And whatnot, the, the reindeer, you know, the Netherlands, the reindeer were just seen as these beautiful entities and that they would, you know, pull the sleigh of this uh, goddess, you know. So instead of it being um, the, the reindeers pulling Santa, it's like the reindeers pulled the sleigh or the chariot of the uh, goddess uh, through the sky and the goddess of the sun in the winter and you can see the sun is out today beautifully even though we're getting so close to the winter solstice so in this case you know we have the ox so what happened is this beautiful element of the reindeer turned into the spirit animal of the stag and the deer and then it turned into um the the cow or the um ox and so that's kind of where the uh looking at the ox came from first looking at the reindeer and it kind of depends on where you live and what is the animal that's around you the most and then you also notice the bird the bird can sit on the ox and, the, and it eats the little bugs and stuff and there's such a it's a, a symbiotic it's not parasitic so it's not like the bird gets benefit and the ox doesn't both the ox and the bird get benefits in this relationship. So one of the things it's saying is right now in your relationships, find that equilibrium, the give and the take for both people. And so uh, take a look at what kind of give and take can you have in your relationships in your life. And that's the situation of today. Now notice that three of the coins are hanging on the ox and three of the coins are on the bird. So this is a strong give and take. Now, sometimes we're in a relationship with a partner 
and they're like, I only have 20% to give. And you're like, well, I'm going to make up the other 80% in this situation. Or you may come and say, I only have 20% to give. And they're like, no, I'm here and I'll make up the 80%. So whether you're at work, whether you're at home, wherever you are, you know, having that give and take. Now, if the person in your life just won't even look at that as an option, you know, the give and take, then you're, you're having to say to yourself, you know, is this really, um, not a narcissistic type situation? So narcissists will not do the give and take. It's just take, 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 take. And so that's what you want to be uh, observing and careful of. So the block is the next card. And the block is the chariot. And so moving too quickly right now. So right now we're being asked to, you know, go in our houses, shut our doors and wear our masks. You know, we're being asked to kind of you know, stop the virus in our communities. I know a friend posted that in her town in, in Arizona, all of the hospitals were completely full. They also were using the beds of the ER for the uh, non-COVID patients. And that they were even putting patients in the, um, kind of in the waiting room on chairs. So, um, you know, some areas of the country are getting very difficult at this time. So moving forward too quickly is really not something that we can do right now. And so making sure that we, the you know, I think that too, this, the, uh, the energies of this card are, you know, the honey badger and he just don't care. He just does what he's going to do, you know, but maybe in this case, sometimes we have to think about other people more than ourselves. And the situation of the six of pentacles is not being just totally absorbed in ourselves, but also realizing the other people around us in the bigger picture. So um, this energy of the chariot coming in, it can be a block if we're not supposed to be doing so much or moving forward. And uh, I think that, you know, really just realizing that if we are a whole person, even when we're sitting doing nothing in meditation, you know, we don't have to always be doing and doing and doing but just being, uh, we can be that whole person. So we're up here today in the uh, mountains and the mountain energy, uh, taking in that uh, spirit. Okay, so the third card, the benefit for right now, is the Five of Pentacles and the, or the uh, the lack, you know, not seeing the whole picture. Um, so this uh, bird is kind of just seeing the lack around it. You know, it's been trying to accomplish things, trying to get the pentacles to work, not realizing, you know, maybe it's, it's seeing this little tiny, um, hey, you're moving. It's seeing this little tiny food morsel, but it's really not the kind of food that it's looking for. It just feels like it's not finding what it's looking for. It's not seeing what it's looking for. Um, and the way that that could be benefiting us is, um, is uh you know that uh by going through those experiences we're able to better relate to other people that are going through the same same type of experience you know when when i've been uh struggling a lot lately with you know um having abundance in the physical life um you know in that whole in that whole process I have found other people who are doing very well that really just don't remember what it was like when they were a kid and they didn't really have the things that they needed. And that's, I think, one of the beautiful things about um, Oprah. And I was listening to a talk by Oprah and she was saying that her favorite Christmas was the Christmas where her mother came to her and said, we can't have Christmas this year. We don't have enough money. And and then in the middle of the night, the the nuns came to their house, brought them a Christmas dinner, and brought each of the children a present. And so they were able to have Christmas in the traditional sense. And so, you know, going through a hard time in life and having to find that solace, 
find that help, find that security, find that hope and healing can really help us. You know, we don't ever forget it. And to know how other people always feel in their lives, no matter where we end up and where we are. And uh, so we can be um, a hope and a healing and a blessing to those around us. Um, and no matter what situation we are in. And so that's, I think, what this card is saying for the uh, benefit right now is whatever you're going through, it's a benefit. It's teaching you that happiness is a choice that every single day you can choose to be happy. And what she said was the real help was somebody noticing them, knowing that they needed help and coming and helping them. And so maybe at this time of year, there's somebody that you can say, you know what, just by noticing that they exist, I will help them um, at this time to feel better. Okay, so the underneath uh, energy is one of my favorite cards. Uh, the Four of Wands is a beautiful, beautiful energy of, um, of, of love and hope and healing and blessing. And because it's a four, um, it has that, you know, creating a uh, strength and stability and balance, you know, ultimate balance is like two and two. You know, true uh, balancing both in the spiritual realm and the physical realm. And then because it's a wand, and so it has that element of fire, you think of fire, you think of heat and warmth, and it's still warm in this car. <laughs> it's got some really good uh, ability to stay warm even in a cold environment. You know, that all that warmth and heat that comes from fire. And uh, so it has both the stability, but also the fiery passion and growth uh, coming into our lives. So it has a beautiful, beautiful place, that happy place. You know, and here we are in one of, of my happy places. I love to come to the mountains, the trees. It reminds me of my childhood. Um, it just, it reminds me to feel the energies of the trees and the animals and that we all are uh, one in, in this uh, beautiful sense. The other um, underneath is the King of Cups, which is that really um, strong and vibrant, uh, you know, like the strength of uh, character and a lot of uh, passion and, you know, love and uh, emotional support. Okay, so that's the uh, tarot message for us today. And uh, thank you so much for uh, taking time to come to my channel. Please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, share, you know, like the video because that will help uh, more people be able to see the message. Uh, share with, with your friends and your family and any of those that you feel would benefit from uh, this uh, beautiful message up here on the mountain and this um, special mountain time. And, um, also, uh, you know, come on over to, uh, the, uh, channel regularly, try to have a daily message, have a, a star seed update once a week and, um, uh, you know, do some, uh, time with, uh, relationship and also astrology. So those are kind of my focus. And one thing I want to start doing with relationship is using the uh, Reiki energy for healing because I am a energy healer with Reiki and Theta, uh, both of which uh, really bring a lot of energy. And I feel like, you know, the tarot combined with the uh, Reiki and Theta could uh, really help to heal our hearts and heal our relationships. So I'm hoping that in the future, my uh, relationship readings will include an element of uh, healing and a meditation in those. So um, we will continue to uh, progress and grow on this channel. Again, thank you for your likes. Thank you for your subscriptions. Thank you for your views and your comments. I love to hear how things are going and uh, for your donations. And it's such a great opportunity to be able to help each one of you uh, find more hope in your life. 
So thank you for coming to the channel and I'll see you soon. I want to show you guys uh, where I'm located here um, before I start driving down. Kind of see. Here's my dog, Coo Bear. Hey, Coo Coo. Yeah, you like going for a ride with me, huh? So, and then I'll show you a quick video of the um, a mountain, the top of the mountain here at the end. Okay, take care. I'll talk to you guys later. Here we are at the top of the mountain. Looks like there's not going to be enough reception for live video, which is fine. I'll do um, tarot reading in the car. It's a little cold. <laughs> Try to do any readings up here. But, oh, wonderful, beautiful energy. And a glorious view of the city and the river, the mountains. Grounding, grounding on the mountain, <laughs> as high as you can get around here. So it's pretty cool. Sandia Crest, uh, New Mexico. Anyway, welcome everybody. Um, to this, uh, My dog here, she's uh, probably going to start getting cold as well. <laughs>